one billion coins. I suggest you to sell an insane opportunity, insane profit, just instantly market cash, great investment, minimum 100 million bankroll, quadruple my money. I'm talking about this. Back with another market video, guys. And yes, even though the game, the core game is pretty dead right now, we are soon closing in for the end of the season and there are some things that we can do there are some things that i think are profitable to do now last time i did this we kind of lost money if we remember the season two trade in sbc's this video is around trading sbc's and season three trading players i mean season three attack mode players that hopefully we're gonna need they're gonna be needed for trade in sbc's now last time i was so sure they're gonna keep the skill boost thing well, and we're gonna need the positions for the trading SBCs. Unfortunately, EA did a very, very poor job with the SBCs back then, and our investments flopped. So, why do I think this diff will be different this time? Why do I think we should invest? Well, first of all, EA, one of the EA developers, Son Kalef, he said that said that things will change for the season three. Maybe they're not gonna introduce skill boosts, but at least positions will matter. Or maybe skill boosts will be introduced back. Whatever is the case, players and what players we get should matter. This is what he told me back then. But obviously, with the World Cup hype going on, they might forget about that. They might just not care about the trading SBCs or just don't have enough time to make the proper changes. So you might think, okay, that's not gonna be profitable. That's not an investment that I need to make or that I want to make. Or maybe I'm just gonna lose money. The risk of losing money is high. Well, let's take a look at some prices and see the current state of the market. And after that, we can talk more. Now, in terms of goalkeepers, we have one single goalkeeper, guys, that it's a non-elite card. And that goalkeeper is Fabiano. If positions will matter, as we have been told they will, if they will matter, the goalkeeper will be needed in a trade in SVCs. And considering we have no other goal card besides Fabiano as a goalkeeper, I believe he is a must invest. I mean, of course, there is a risk he won't go up at all. But also, let's take a look at his price, guys. He's only 8K. I mean, he's below 8K, guys, sometimes. Yeah. I've seen some of his prices going for cheaper than 8K, even 5K, 6K. But... He's just too cheap not to buy him, guys. He's just too cheap. I'm definitely gonna buy him below 10k. And um, he might drop even more. After this video goes live, his price might increase since some of you will buy uh, like all of the players on the market. But there are like 8 days before the end of the season and I guess 3-4 more days before the trading SBCs that you should be able to get a good price for him if um, if you're gonna wait. He can go all the way up to like 70k, I don't even know. But for that to happen, we need his position to matter. Basically, we need the investment to work. If it doesn't work out, worst case scenario, guys, he's a good training speed card. He's just too cheap. For a 74 card below 10k, he's just too cheap, guys. He's just too cheap. And... Uh, yeah, I think it's one of the better investments that we could make in this period where there is nothing going on in the game. We're just trying to keep our head above the water and just make some coins if uh, the opportunity presents. Now, the next uh, highest rated card is, as a goalkeeper again, it's Eniyama. He's 80 rated card, Eniyama. And as you can see, he's 300k or 200 or somewhere like that, around 300k. Everybody will buy Fabiano and if the rating needs to be higher, he will be trained up. So he should go extinct, which means we're gonna make lots of coins on him if, if he will be needed. Because he, if he will be needed, he will go extinct, blah, blah, blah. Now let's take a look at some defenders. And to be even more precise, at center backs. As you all know, center backs are one of the most needed positions 
in the game in the SBCs and we have three gold center back we have Lam as our 73 card he's very very cheap he's like almost this card price I think he go, goes below 6k or something somewhere like that yeah actually below 4k wow what are these prices guys what are these prices I mean this guy is profitable even to be used as training XP wow you definitely need to pick these cards up you're not risking anything that's the thing with all this uh, ch very cheap cards you're not risking anything because worst case scenario you can use them as training XP also Bastians let's shake Bastians I wonder how much he is he's a 74 rated card um, yeah let's see if we can find him below 10k I think we can I think we can I mean we should yeah yeah only one below or just uh, on 10k price but for a 74 card that's a good price he'll probably uh, we can easily find him below 15k like many of him yeah lots of him around 10k around 11k again if the SBCs will be changed as we have been told they will then he should be needed and our third guy our 75 rated card Rolando 75 cards can go up a lot guys 75 rated cards can be sold for more than 100k let's see for how much we can get him I, I suppose below 20k yeah there are some him some of him below 20k probably he will be a good investment uh, around 30k as well I'm pretty sure you, you can find uh, other 75 cards below that oh we can find the team of the season once yeah but still wouldn't hurt I think it won't hurt for us to buy a couple of him again you're not risking too much and the reward the possible reward is huge now another position that we need to take a look at is the center mid position lots of center mid players are needed in plenty of SBCs in almost like every one of them and for season 3 players we have David Myler with a 73 rated card yeah he has pretty much the same price as Lam I'm pretty sure you can find him below 5k let's see that should be the case below 5k let's go let's see nah he's not below 5k but below 6k for sure or 65 oh my, my bad my bad 6.5k yeah lots of him around 6k again can't hurt to invest in him now as for this higher rated cards the next center mid is Arnold with a 77 now Mr. Arnold is pretty expensive I'm not gonna front he's like 157 okay we can find some at 70k if we can find him around 80k I think that's decent I think that's different but as you can see you can only snipe him for that low but if you can get him around that price that that would be really good and our last card it's Brozovic 79 uh, my bad my bad 79 C CM uh, and yeah he's not a good investment unfortunately unless you can pick him up for below uh, 200k or around 150 but probably that's pretty hard to do maybe only on bidding who knows so yeah guys this is pretty much it these are the top positions that I need that I took a look at and these players I think they have very high potential and low risk considering the current price again if you have plenty of time to invest if the price goes up after this video don't panic wait you have like 10 more days to invest I'll probably do a video in which I talk about other positions as well but for now this is it thank you very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed share if you think my content is worthy and until next time I'm out peace